Hey there, folks. It's here again, back at you uh, in the, at, from the Houston Championships. And we're here with Swift, uh, the Intergalactic Space Llama 7105. They were the finalist alliance captains of last year's World Championship, and they're going back. They've come back with a very, very strong robot. I'm joined by Josh and Jack. They're going to be talking totally a, a lot about some of the really, really innovative control systems and robot design mechanisms. So, um, Josh, would you like to talk a little bit more about your uh, the ARM-based mechanism you have? Absolutely. So this is kind of a unique design. It's kind of in the minority this year, uh, with double extends being the primary uh, meta. Um, and uh, we stuck with this from the very beginning. Uh, we knew we wanted to stick with an arm bot, and uh, it kind of just built down from a chunky arm bot to a uh, one arm bot, and we made it as lightweight as possible. You can see here, uh, this is a new material that we've been experimenting with this year. Um, it's very exciting to work with. It's called Kydex. It allowed us to do uh, very unique building systems on the top of the arm that's very lightweight and durable. This allows us to go very fast with our uh, drive, uh, driving the arm, having two full DC motors geared down. Um, the rest of it works so well because of optimization. Um, we had this main design built from uh, month one after our initial uh, brainstorming session, and we've been fine-tuning and tweaking it and perfecting it since then. Um, and so, Jack, if you want to talk a little bit about some of the driver enhancements we do, um, it's how we got this uh, arm working so fast. Absolutely. Um, Using our driver enhancements during our teleop uh, was a unique thing that we decided to try to do this year. Uh, so I do know of some teams that do use driver enhancements, but I have never heard of uh, a few of the ones that we use. Uh, one of the un most unique ones, I would say, is our arm slowing enhancement, where we use the encoder position on one of our motors uh, to slow down our arm as it goes down and up and up and down. Um, when it reaches an extremity, you know, it would bang into the floor or bang against our robot. So this would just reduce the impact. Really quick, another one uh, is just our gyro zero program. If the robot is rotated off of position, our driver can hit a button and the robot will automatically turn back to position. This reduces one of the axes of motion that he has to account for when lining up against the lander. Very cool. So is that also something that you guys are using during your autonomous uh, function? Uh, during autonomous, we do use our uh, gyroscope to uh, do accomplish some of our turns. I know we have like a little pirouette turn that uses the uh, gyroscope to accomplish that. Um, we don't use the exact similar ones. Uh, the arm slow enhancement, for example, is not used during the uh, autonomous period. That's some very, very cool stuff. It really allows you to optimize that robot. It's, this robot is so, it's like, it's small, but it's lightning fast. You guys have those cycles better than almost everyone else. So very, very cool robot, guys. Would love to see how you guys do, and great luck. This was Team 7105 Swift. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.